right, we're at Target. An impromptu toy hunt at night. I thought I'd see if they had any restocks. We're gonna find out very shortly. Stay tuned. All right, here we are. Seems like a good deal. All right. Again, it doesn't seem like there was actually any meaningful restock that I can tell. Yeah. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Any new Marvel Legends? Nope. Oh, Multiverse of Madness. I just can't believe these are still almost $28. Uh, but I guess Disney can charge those prices. Still no Eartha Kit. Catwoman, whatever. Alright, let's make our way to the NECA section. Something in this peg hook does not belong. Can you figure out what it is? It's funny, this figure doesn't even cost as much as that peg hook. <laughs> if we move over here, more He-Man stuff. I'm looking for the Sun Man, but I don't think it's out yet in store. Just picked this up the other day, and this definitely doesn't belong here. I actually watched both movies the other day, and I have to say I like the sequel better than I like the original. Definitely. It was hokey in a good way, but the gore effects were excellent. Alright. So, from what I can see, it does not look like they have replenished since I was last here. Bummer. But, you never know what you can find, so let's just go over it real quickly to see if maybe I missed something or they put something back. Just picked this up from GameStop the other day, they had a good sale, it was like 33 bucks. The review is coming soon on that one. Dialogue, still on the fence about picking you up. I mean, eventually I will, but there's no, there's really no rush. You're essentially a Goliath reskin, and everybody knows it. And I highly doubt your wings. Oh my god, I highly doubt you're gonna get optional wings. All right. Oh, uh, still the same old, same old. Really nothing, again, nothing has been updated in this aisle. Tons of pops. Oh, Hawkeye. Nice. Coraline. I kind of want the raincoat variant of this one. You can even take off the faces and swap out the faces too, which is pretty cool. Uh, Gremlins. Another Thylog. Ooh, another blind bag. Hmm, I'm kind of tempted to pick up another one today. <laughs> They're kind of fun, I like them. All right. Can we get some more of these Terminator figures? I'm, I mean, cool. don't get me wrong, I think T-1000 is an awesome character, but I really would like some Linda Hamilton goodness and some Edward Furlong and maybe some Arnold, I know. It's been a long, a long time since they had those in store and I know they're going for quite a bit online, but I would love a re-release of those figures because they are hard to find. All right. More Toonie Terrors. Good catch. Another blind bag. Definitely tempted. And then for the piste de la resistance, the actual. NECA end cap, which is pretty depressing. Just leftover Holothon turtle stuff. The Holothon really, I mean, I can't wait for it next year because it just, it was kind of just really lackluster. Some stores got stuff, some stores didn't get anything or much of anything. It was pretty much pretty depressing. Finding the things you wanted were just, I mean, good luck. 
I mean, eventually I did get most of the stuff I wanted, but I never saw a Bronx in any store that I went into. Never. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Super Bebop and Mighty Rocksteady. Nice. Good find. That's actually a good find. Seems like somebody may have been hiding that. And if we can do a quick little survey of what's in here. So we got, I don't know what that is. Oh, Peacemaker up there. That just seems to be the new stash spot. So yeah, that appears to be it for this location. Um, I've got a review coming up tomorrow. Um, stay tuned for that. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you all haven't. It takes a few minutes or a few seconds. <laughs> uh, yeah, and thank you for uh, watching this video. You guys take it easy. I'll catch you on the next one.